Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a Q and A mukbang. Do you want to put it on the thing? Let's yeah, can see. you hold it? Yeah. Hi, can I please get a medium mic veggie meal, please? And can I also get a chicken deluxe meal in large, please, with a coke? Large chicken deluxe hungry. Meal with coke. Yes, please. Anyways, back to what I was saying before. Welcome back. <laughs> Um, so today we thought we would come through and ask some questions on my Instagram, which we already have, and I asked you where you wanted us to eat for a Q&A mukbang. And so everyone said McDonald's or KFC. So today we're doing McDonald's. If you haven't seen my last video, we've just filmed it just now, and it is the couple's yoga challenge. It was actually fun. It was hard. It, it was, was actually hard. surprisingly hard. But we were fun. sweating so much. So if you haven't seen that, go and watch it. Oh, that was quick. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I have not had soft drink. Are you still down there again? I accidentally just dropped one. Did you get a large? Oh, they don't look very good. They're a bit dry. So disappointed. I really like Baker's chips. KFC chips are so much better. I said Bob. Wow. Someone just DM'd me and just replied to my story this Go. morning. And the DM was thinking that she said her ex's name instead of saying Bob. She said, Bob, I can't... Wait, what did she what did you say? Bob, I'm getting squished. Breathe. I can't breathe. And I thought that she was saying her ex's name. So, what do you want to do? Get into some questions? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a... First one's a weird one, and you never never get this. But if you could meet someone dead or alive, who would it be? Me, of course. <laughs> okay. Um... Who would be your all-time... Ari? Oh, I love Ariana Grande. Actually, yeah, I would love to have a conversation with Ariana Grande. What about? She's just so successful. Just she's, and she's been through such. She's just killing it. Who would you? It's so hard to get put on the spot. But at the moment, like alive, would be his name's Joko Willing. And he's like, this guy's like an absolute like beast. He's like massive and just like the stuff that he was like talked about, like what he had been through. He was in the Marines for like 20 something years. Next question. Question? Question of the week. If oh, anyone, quick, quick. If anyone's from Question. Daddy Gang, you guys would understand. Questions off the way. You said on Instagram that you and Maddie didn't break up, but then why did you unfollow each other? Okay, sometimes I can be a little bit dramatic. <laughs> okay. I think the one that everyone's talking about is literally like you went out one night. I was in bed and I'd literally fallen asleep. So Maddie's like thinking I was like shitty at her, but I was like completely just at home falling asleep. You thought I was just angry at you, so I think you just. Yeah. That was literally it. Basically, um, yeah, it was just like a misunderstanding and also I was like drinking as well and sometimes when I drink, I can just make silly decisions. Guys, everyone's asking why we went together on V-Day. I was with, I had an event on, I was with my friends and stuff. He still got me flowers. I feel like everyone, just because like we weren't really posting. Yeah, it was so everyone weird. Was freaking out, but. Like we posted, but we posted like separate photos. But also I was like, I had a, like an infection in my mouth and I was on like, like really hard antibiotics. Um, you so just I got wasn't. Full wisdom teeth taken out. Yeah, so I wasn't feeling very well in my stomach and everything. So I literally, like, for that whole week, I spent a whole week in bed, mm. kind of just watching movies. So Maddie had like an event and stuff, and her friend was down. So she just kind of spent the day with her. Like, to us, to us, it was like nothing. Yeah, everyone was so stressed. But that's literally the only reason why I was like, I'm like bedridden. Why would she like? Why would I make her be bedridden with me for that when she had an event and was out all day? So then you can go and continue to be like with your friend. Mm. I didn't want to come out of my stories and just say, oh, this is the reason why we didn't spend B day together. You still got me flowers. It was cute. Yeah. We spent the night together before Valentine's Day. Yeah. So I gave it, I gave her like the flowers and everything the night before. This one's to both. What's something you would like the other to improve on to be better in the future? Oh god. I think... <laughs> I think just reading text messages. Maddie is the, literally the worst person in the world. Like, she'll read a text message, but she, I don't know I don't know how she does it, but she'll skim over it and sometimes just be like... Sometimes she can be blunt. Right, no. Sometimes <laughs> she will just not even read my text message and she'll be like, what do you mean? I'm like, I literally <laughs> just said it in my text message. You can be blunt sometimes. I feel like um, at the start we weren't very good at communicating with each other, but we're definitely getting better at that. Don't you reckon? Yeah. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I feel like we're getting better at communicating. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really know. If we ever fight, we literally, it's like it's the so dumbest thing ever. It's so stupid. But yeah, every couple of fights, but I don't know. What could I, what could I It's like, on? it's literally not, I've just said it. Oh, just said it. Oh, oh yeah. Text message is, 
I'm just not a text message person. Like, if you want to say something, don't say it over text message. Mm. And then Maddie always wants to say it over text message. And then we just, like, that's what our fights are ever over. Because <laughs> literally, like, no. Wait, I didn't say something for you. There's nothing. I can't improve on anything. I'm perfect. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do together? Travel, um, dates, places. What's yours? Travel for sure. Traveling together was so much fun. We're going to America soon together too. That'd be so fun. Even like when we go up to like Noosa and stuff. That's obviously oh, like, yeah. us, like a holiday for us. So traveling, yeah. that's like, I feel like that's traveling. So doing that is like, mm -hmm. obviously like so amazing. Um, Love doing that. Also, yeah. I like how just like chill nights together where we just like hang out. When we have a good like series to go like yeah. to watch and stuff. We just like hang out, watch um, Netflix, comfy clothes. And just switch off. Yes. So I feel like our job, even though always like on. people always think we don't do much, like you've always got to be like thinking of different things. So like even when you are in bed, like you can be laying in bed like like literally five out of seven nights, like doing work, doing emails, and like planning things out. Yeah, absolutely. And it's good to just have those nights off where you can just switch off completely and leave everything and just mm -hmm. literally get into like a whole series and watch as much as possible until you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. So that's always a good one too. How much rent do you pay per week and do you like where you live? Tea. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't know. If people want to hear it, but whatever. So I'm going to answer it. Okay. Sydney is like, it is a lot more expensive. I paid, oh, is it good to say this? I paid $400 a week for one bedroom apartment in Brisbane, which was obviously quite expensive for Brisbane, I think. But when I came down here, um, where I'm renting now, so like I pay over $400, including bills per month. But I also feel like um, a lot of people don't pay as much as well. Um, but it, just for me, it was a bit harder because I have, obviously I have PAB and I was looking for something that was kind of like, I was kind of urgent at the time as well. Like, I guess I don't have to pay it that much, but it's a bit harder to like find something when I have PAB with me as well. And like a decent area. I wanted something like really nice where he'd be like happy there yeah. as well. So that's kind of why I like got stuck with what I, not got stuck, but like that's why I am paying what I am right now. It, it's definitely like cheaper if you don't have a dog and you can have, like you have more choice and stuff like that as well. Someone said, how do you get your beard so full? I've literally had this since I was like grade 11. Just genetics. I don't do Early anything. It's, it's, not, it's not fun to have this. Like you literally have to shave. I, I love probably, your facial hair. Yeah, but I probably have to trim it like every two. Working. Like I literally I trim like some of it, like every two days. It is hard work. Yeah, it grows super, super fast. Yeah. Are you gonna eat that burger? I oh, am, yeah, but like, do you wanna ask <laughs> some of the questions? Oh, I'll answer, I've already finished mine. Yeah, no, all right, no. Your girl's hungry. How do you get such white teeth and any tips to getting abs or losing fat? This is for you. I have veneers. <laughs> um, I've done a video about my veneers, so if you wanna go watch that, go and watch them. Link down below. But, you got white teeth too, they're asking you. Mm, my teeth aren't as wide as yours, but... Yeah, but that's super wide as well. Everyone always comments about it. Um, I just brush my teeth, like, twice a day, I'd say. Um, I have gotten my teeth whitened a few times, but for me, I find it doesn't last very long. Like, they're super, super white. Um, but yeah, I just brush my teeth a lot, and every now and then I'll get them whitened. That's because you drink coffee straight after it. Yes, I do drink a but, lot of coffee, so if you guys want to learn from me and get them even whiter, or have the coffee through a straw, that does help. Because when you did get them done, they, they literally looked like so, so white. white. So yeah. it is, it's really worth, like, if you do go and, and get them white, and go to like a dentist, go to a proper place. Yeah, get them professionally Because done. it makes like an amazing difference, like such an amazing difference. Yeah. Um, any tips to getting abs? <laughs> this is for you as well, because I would like to know. I think just yeah. being active, like try and do something every day is a big thing and diet is literally while I'm talking about like eating diet is, everything. diet is like uh, like 80% of everything so I've always like naturally been like a super healthy person like when I was growing up we would have like so meat and too. yeah gonna, yeah but like I'd have meat and veggie like every single night growing up and I don't really like bad food so I know I always do it on YouTube but that's the only time I really eat it yeah he does eat very healthy um, like I won't snack during the day I don't have like I'll have like one chocolate or something like every now and then I'll have like a snack of something bad but I will literally eat like um, like chicken and salad wrap like five times a day and that's all I'll eat with like plain oats or something it's pretty like I'm pretty bland like that but I like that it's food good, yeah, yeah. Uh, are you in love yeah 
Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Um, yes. Yes, Queen. Do you miss living in Brisbane? I guess sometimes. I miss living in Brisbane. I it takes a while when you like move somewhere though to like I feel like you'll always have that for a really long time. No, I think this is like I've been like so far being down here. It's like I, I'm not looked back once at all, like even the slightest. But I feel like the last few like um, the last few weeks when I've been talking about like coming back for this, you've been getting excited. It's more, uh, just more like excited to like go mm. and do something with my like obviously my best friends back there. And I like going back, but I don't miss living there. Yeah, I don't miss living there either. Yeah, like I'm glad I live in Sydney, but I miss like the people. Like obviously a lot of my friends are there. Um, yeah, that's my name. So good. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, I miss the people like just my good friends there. Yeah, not like actually and, living, yeah. living there. And more like going back to see family and stuff, that's why I'm so excited. Yeah. Most awkward sex story. Has it been awkward? Um, I'm thinking of one. Say it. Don't want to say it. Just film it, in my last KFC, no, my last mukbang, we had said like an awkward moment and I was gonna say it and then I didn't and then all the comments were commenting and they're like, I bet you this was about this thing and it was. Ah, uh, like So you... they picked up on what I was gonna talk about because I said um, it was your fault. <laughs> yeah, so that was an embarrassing sex story. I don't really think there's any others to be honest. We don't get embarrassed with each other, right? Yeah, I literally... But when she farted the first time, she got embarrassed. Okay, that's it. was the first time. But I feel like, yeah, nothing we really do now, like, could embarrass each other. We just, like, laugh about it with each other. We're like... Oh. I'm just so open. Like, I feel like when you're just open with each other, like, it's literally easy. How long did you wait until you slept with each other? Some of these questions, bro. This is... Now they're getting juicy. Juicy! I think we waited... Oh, it was a good couple of weeks, right? Yeah, we waited month? a while. I think we did, like, a, a month or something. Yeah. So we were speaking for like literally months, like a long time before. And then like once we started like seeing each other, we waited a month. Yeah, I'd say it was definitely a while. So I can we were speaking for like two months before this? Yeah, he even came to Sydney and like stayed over. <laughs> I was just really nervous, so. <laughs> I feel like we've answered some juicy ones, right? Yeah, okay. So I think that's going to be all the questions for today. Um, we answered some juicy ones, so I hope Very you juicy. enjoyed those. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you press the subscribe button because I'm almost at 30,000 and I'm going to try Are and get really? to it. Yeah, I've been like stuck at like 28.5 or something. Yeah. And I've been stuck there. So let's get it. If there's any other video recommendations or suggestions that you guys would like to see, Put them down below. Put them down below. Because um, we are going to have a few like travel vlogs and some cool things coming out. I like um, filming fun videos too though, like the yoga challenge. Like possibly going to be trying to do maybe two videos a week. So We should do that. So if you have any other like, challenge videos, fun videos that you want me to post on my channel, put them down below. But anyways, I hope you have a good day and see ya. See ya.